So this Saturday, we have Canelo Alvarez taking on Jaime Munguia. And right away, I want to let you guys know, this is actually a fight I'm looking forward to. Now, I've criticized Canelo Alvarez in the past, and specifically for how I believe he's been avoiding David Benavidez and how this is the fight that we should be getting instead of Jaime Munguia. However, obviously, Benavidez isn't happening next, so we might as well accept what we have coming up. And honestly... When you think about the fight coming up against Jaime Munguia, I actually think this is a nice little matchup. I think it's going to be a competitive fight, and I'm actually looking forward to it. There's a couple ways I could see the fight playing out, but in this video, I'll be telling you guys my exact prediction for this bout. Also, expect videos breaking down how Canelo Alvarez beats Jaime Munguia, how Jaime Munguia beats Canelo Alvarez, and a separate video on why this is just a good fight overall. But today, I'm just going to be breaking down how I see this fight actually playing out. So I'm going to give you my exact breakdown, how I see the fight playing out round by round and the final result. So what I see happening early on in this fight is, I expect, actually, I'm going to straight up say throughout the entire fight, I expect Munguia to have a better work rate than Canelo. I think that's almost a given. Unless Munguia is badly hurt throughout the fight, I see him consistently having a better work rate than Canelo, but obviously work rate isn't everything. So early on, I see it being a, a bit more cagey, a bit more methodical. Munguia keeping the fight on the outside with Canelo. I think there's a good chance Canelo will buzz Munguia early due to the fact that Munguia will probably open up a little bit too much early on. And... With Canelo Alvarez's accuracy with his counter punching, I feel he's going to make Munguia learn early on to not get over aggressive and not to overcommit. So I see Munguia probably being slightly up after three to four rounds, but I feel it'll probably be pretty even, if anything, where Munguia will have the better work rate, but I think Canelo will block and negate most of Munguia's work, and I feel he will be the one landing the crisper, cleaner shots. I feel as the middle rounds continue, I feel Canelo Alvarez will get much more comfortable against Munguia and do much better in the middle rounds. I see him actually winning most of the middle rounds. Not all of them, but a good portion of them. I see Munguia continuing to have a good work rate and continuing to bring the fight to Canelo. However, I don't see him having too much success offensively. I feel as good of a work rate Munguia has, as aggressive as he is, and I do feel he has nice, solid power. I feel Canelo Alvarez has seen all of it before, he's dealt with it before, and he'll know how to negate it. And I feel throughout the middle rounds, Canelo Alvarez will get the better of Munguia. I feel he'll pick him apart a little bit on the inside. He'll even push Munguia back at points and assert physical control, as I feel Canelo Alvarez is the stronger of the two guys as well. I think after a good eight or nine rounds, Canelo Alvarez will be up on the cards. He won't be dominating, but he'll be winning by an amount that isn't necessarily disputed. Now, what I see happening is I see Munguia trying to dig deep late in the later rounds and I don't I just honestly I feel Canelo is going to realize that he's done enough and I feel he's not going to completely take the later rounds off but he's going to cruise the later rounds and I think because of that Munguia will win a good a good portion of those later rounds in the fight however I feel Canelo he's very experienced he knows what he's doing and I feel once he starts to coast in those later rounds he knows that he's done enough to where if he wins a couple of those later rounds he'll be pretty much set and I feel even though Munguia will have a, a nice surge near the end of the fight where he won't hurt Canelo, he won't batter him, but he will probably outwork Canelo a little more than he was outworking him in the early rounds. I feel Munguia will win some of those later rounds, but it will not be enough. And I think after 12 rounds, I see Canelo Alvarez getting the 116 to 112 unanimous decision victory, maybe 115, 113. But I feel it'll be a eight rounds to four, seven rounds to five decision that Canelo Alvarez gets off of his accuracy and off of his punch placement and off of ring generalship. Munguia will have good work rate. He'll probably even have better punch stats than Canelo Alvarez once the fight's over, but when it comes to who actually deserved the win and who actually got the job done, I see Canelo Alvarez having too much experience for Jaime Munguia. I see him being too defensively aware while I feel Jaime Munguia is not that defensively aware, and I see Canelo Alvarez fighting a very disciplined but also a very I'm not going to say it's going to be one of Canelo's best performances either. I'm going to make it that obvious. He'll get the job done. He'll deserve the win, but it won't be a sensational performance from Canelo. I don't see him making a statement. There's a chance it turns into an all-out war and Canelo Alvarez puts Munguia out in the later rounds, but that's not my prediction. I see Canelo Alvarez just fighting the smarter fight, being in control, using the distance well, getting on the inside, going to the body. Munguia, I also don't think Munguia will land the harder shots either, even though Munguia, and some people are going to say, oh, Munguia stopped John Ryder and Canelo didn't. That means time Munguia is better and he hits harder. Obviously, before anything, we all know styles make fights. It's the most cliche expression in the entire sport. I'm actually pretty tired of people saying styles make fights when they don't even watch boxing. But even as common and obvious as it is, it's cliche for a reason. It is true. Styles do make fights. But even if you ignore the fact that Styles make fights, Munguia beat John Ryder after Canelo beat him. In the Canelo fight, John Ryder took a lot of punishment. I believe he had a broken nose. He got dropped. It was a grueling 12 rounds. And 
he got battered in that bout. He had his moments, but overall he got battered. When it comes to Munguia having more power than Canelo Alvarez, I don't think his power is what got him the stoppage against John Ryder. I actually believe it genuinely isn't. I think because he overwhelmed Ryder with his output and Ryder, I felt, wasn't even the same after the Canelo Alvarez fight, I felt that's what caused him to get the stoppage victory. So overall, I feel that Canelo Alvarez... I'm very confident it's a better fighter than Munguia. I will say this. Munguia has been moved very cautiously, and he's been moved very conservatively. They haven't been very liberal in, in the outings they've given Munguia. They've moved him very cautiously and very, very calculated. And because of that, I feel the fight's much closer than it would have been a couple years ago or even a year and a half, two years ago. I feel there's a point in time where Canelo would have dominated Munguia. would have been a mismatch, and it wouldn't have been very entertaining. But I think at this point, Munguia's gotten better, and Canelo, I think, is even slowing down a little bit. He's still a very good fighter, as we've seen. But I do be believe Canelo has taken a little bit of a step back in ability due to his age. He's been in the ring for so many years. He's actually been fighting longer than he hasn't been fighting. That's how long he's been in the ring for. So... I feel that Munguia has definitely closed that gap. It's definitely not as one-sided of a fight as it would have been, but I feel even with Munguia getting better and Canelo Alvarez slowing down, overall, I still believe Canelo is probably a good level better than Munguia. Stylistically, I do think Munguia's style is not great for Canelo. I want to make that obvious, but I also think Canelo Alvarez's style is not good for Munguia's either, and I'll break down why. Canelo Alvarez takes breaks in fights. He gives rounds up. He takes rounds off. And against someone like Munguia, who's nonstop, that's not good. Now, why Canelo's style is very bad for Munguia is Munguia opens up, and he would actually prefer to be in a fight with a guy who who has a high punch output and who throws a lot of punches. I feel Munguia's style is terrible against a counter puncher. If you look at Munguia's earlier performances, way back when he fight, fought Spike O'Sullivan, a guy who actually did trade with Munguia a little bit, but overall was more of a counter puncher. He caught Munguia with some bombs and hurt Munguia in that fight. People forget that he actually did hurt Munguia in that fight. Someone like Canelo Alvarez, who's going to be much more patient and look for... He's going to look for that nice one shot. And I'm not going to say the, the mere con type of one shot, but he's going to... He's going to let himself get outworked. He's going to let Munguia throw a good four or five shots before he throws one perfectly timed shot. And overall, I think that's terrible for Jaime Munguia. So I think both of their styles counteract. But I believe due to the fact that I... Canelo Alvarez is just overall a better fighter and a more experienced fighter. I'm expecting him to prevail in this fight and hopefully fight David Benavidez next. But this is a good matchup, guys. I actually think this is going to be a very interesting fight. I'm actually looking forward to it. There aren't too many fights of Canelo's that I've been looking forward to in the last few years. There, he, he's fought some good competition, to be honest. But since the Bivol fight, he's kind of taken a, a backseat. And I feel this is probably the best fight he's had since then because the third Triple G fight, I don't really count. I feel we all knew the outcome just due to the fact that Triple G got worse and has gotten considerably older and we saw them fight twice already John Ryder no one really wanted to see at that point we wanted the Ryder fight after the Callum Smith fight but at this point we really didn't need a John Ryder fight and Jermel Charlo moving up two weight classes I mean come on so Canelo Munguia I think this is actually one of Canelo's better fights in the last few years so it's going to be a fun matchup but hopefully we get Benavidez next you guys let me know your thoughts comment section below if you can I would actually like for you guys to tell me your exact prediction down below. So tell me the exact round you're picking for this fight. If you're picking Canelo to win, tell me the exact round you have. If you're picking John Ryder to win, or not John Ryder, if you're picking Jaime Munguia to win, tell me the exact round you're picking. So whoever does the best, I'm probably going to pin their comment. I think it's fun. Just tell me your exact prediction. I'm curious. Have a good one, guys. God bless. I'll see you guys later. Peace.